Hi, this is Anna from Just Paint, and this is Kristen Adams. Kristen, Yay. tell us something exciting. I'm working at Just Paint now. Yeehaw! Yay. She's one of our newest packeristas, and she's doing a great job. Um, today, I'm going to demonstrate a foil tattoo on Kristen, and we're going to put a lovely kind of mermaid-inspired necklace right there. These tattoos are on a kind of a paper sheet with a plastic film and all you do is have the kid choose what design they want and carefully cut around the tattoo with a pair of sharp scissors. Here, you get to keep that for a freebie. And then, cut around the bottom. And this is all with a plastic film on. So you're protecting your tattoo while you're cutting. All right, so I've got the main piece here. And you want to make sure that the skin is clean, that they're not sweaty or anything. Otherwise, you're going to want to wipe it off with a baby wipe that has some alcohol in it. Then all you've got to do is peel off the plastic, center it on the supermodel. That looks about right. Dun, dun, dun. And then I'm going to give her a towel because I'm going to sponge this and I don't want her to get too soaking wet. So I'm just taking a sponge that has water in it. You can have your own, just use your face paint sponge if you have some clean ones. And you just rub it in until the paper looks transparent. And you'll be able to see the design coming through. So I'm seeing all the gold popping through. And then you grab one corner and you're going to slowly peel and just check as you're peeling that nothing is sticking to the paper. If it does stick, you want to lay it back down and just get it a little more wet. All right, perfect. Now you can drop the towel for a minute. Oh, would you like these accessory chains? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut some quick chains to connect the necklace around her neck. Dun, dun, dun. Ba -ba. And this one. Dun, dun, dun. Ba -ba. And this has lots of little flowers and stuff, so you could put a little series of flowers on her shoulder if she was wearing a tank top. Um, or up her neck or something like that to make it even more exciting. So I'm just going to peel off the plastic. Ta-da! And this chain's going to go over here. The good thing is these tattoos can, <gasps> Who's that guy? can actually last a few days. Uh, if you take good care of them, they're waterproof. If you start rubbing them, they will come off. Um, and oh, whenever... Like, yeah. yeah, like knots. Uh, and if you want them to come off like the next day or whatever, you just gotta rub some baby oil on them to loosen them up. Yeah, I would use like a hot rag with baby oil or with uh, rubbing alcohol. All right, I just noticed my chain was lifting there, so I'm gonna set it back down and slowly take it off. If you get any wrinkles while it's still wet, you can try to just press it down with your finger and straighten it out. But the best thing is just to keep your eye on it while you're uh, peeling the paper off and making sure nothing crazy is happening. There are many tattoos, um, like metallic foil tattoos out there that have colors in them. Black, teal, orange, yellow. You may want to check with your supplier to make sure that those pigments are actually meant to be used on skin because many manufacturers are producing them with pigments that are not meant for, uh, for the skin. Whoa. So gold and silver are okay and that's why we only sell gold and silver. Yep. Look at that. Whoa. So I left a little gap here. I'm going to, di I did that for a reason because I want to embellish this design. If you've got time, since these are only gold and silver, you can pump them up with a little bit of color. Um, this is liquid bling. And I'm just going to go on the bottom of the scales and do a little line ooh, around each bottom. So now it's more 3D. This liquid bling is going to come off, you know, tonight, but if you wanted to, you could use glitter tattoo, glue, and put glitter and dust it off. And, and it's just um, the liquid bling is just a faster way to embellish it. I have other colors here if you need. Alrighty. Oh, this looks exciting. So you could use like a temperate uh, tattoo inks like the Colorini, the Dot, or even like the Dips from Pro Air, um, or the Time Tattoo from Chameleon, and then um, 
or you can just use glitter glue and just regular cosmetic glitter if you want something that will last longer than just the glitter gel uh, but just for the purpose of the video to show it faster and the idea be behind this is that you don't want to just stamp something on your customer and say there you go um, you want to you want to do something that really looks artistic and that it looks more difficult and that it requires you know the skill of the painter that is applying it yeah so here we are her magnificent Ooh, maybe I can just put a little dot right I don't want to get any of this glue on her shirt I'm gonna put a little dot right in that part oh it's so so oh that's so fabulous mm. so now she's like a mermaid princess and she's ready to go rock the beach in mm -hmm. January <laughs> or February. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Come check out Just Paint and look for what are they called on our Met site? Metallic foil tattoos. Metallic foil tattoos. And they're the temporary tattoos. They're temporary. Yay! Yay!